Welcome everybody to our special Christmas program, A Savior is Born. My name is Peter. And my name is Kaldora. We are so happy to see you all here today, and it is our hope that you will be blessed and enjoy your time with us. There are many different traditions that people celebrate around the world at this time of year. And there are millions around the world who remember how Christ Jesus came to this world as a baby, and the extraordinary events surrounding the time of his birth. Today, we'll, we will enjoy some wonderful music from different countries that sing about this amazing story. And we'll get a chance to sing along as well. You might also want to be ready for some trivia questions a little bit later. The prophets of the Old Testament, such as Isaiah and Daniel, had foretold the coming of a Savior, and even the time that he would come. According to the prophecies, that time had arrived about 2,000 years ago, and the Jews were expecting a mighty king to free them from the rule of Rome. However, God had something different in mind, a different kind of freedom, with a different kind of king. And he arrived in the most unexpected of circumstances. A young teenage girl, Mary, was, ex was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One evening, the angel Gabriel came to her and told her she was going to have a son through the Holy Spirit, and his name would be Jesus. This baby was the son of God the Father, and there would be no end to his kingdom. Later on, Mary and her husband Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem, uh, the hometown of Joseph, because the emperor Caesar Augustus wanted to have a census of his Roman Empire. It was while they were at Bethlehem, also called the city of David, that it was time for Mary to deliver her baby. Since the town was full of many visitors who came to register for the census, Mary and Joseph could find no room at the inn. They had to settle into a stable with animals, and there Mary delivered the baby Jesus, wrapped him in <coughs> swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. The choir will now sing the Huron Carol, also called Twas in the Moon of Winter Time. This is a Canadian Christmas hymn and is Canada's oldest Christmas song, written probably in 1642 by Jean de Berbeuf, a Jesuit missionary at St. Marie among the Hurons in Ontario. Berbeuf wrote the lyrics in the na na native language of the Huron Wendat people. The English version of the hymn uses imagery familiar in the early 20th century in place of the traditional nativity story. In the English version, Jesus is born in a lodge of broken bark and wrapped in a robe of rabbit skin. He is surrounded by hunters instead of shepherds, and the magi are portrayed as chiefs from afar that bring him fox and beaver pelts, instead of the more familiar gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The hymn also uses traditional Algonquin uh, name, Gichi Manitou, for God. Let's listen. Thank you. 
Now, here are some trivia questions for you. Who knows what the name Bethlehem means? You're, you can raise your hand and give an answer if you'd like. Does anybody know what the name Bethlehem means? Anybody? It means house of bread. Jesus said he was the bread of life. I think that's a pretty interesting connection. What are swaddling clothes? Well, swaddling clothes are long strips of cloth usually used to wrap dead bodies before burial. It seems that even at Jesus' birth, his death for us was foreshadowed. Now, what about a manger? Does anybody know what that is? It's okay if you, can ra if it's okay if you raise your hand. It's fine. <laughs> A feeding trough for animals? That's correct. That's true. It was made of either wood or carved stone. Jesus taught that we are to eat his flesh, which means that we are to receive him into our lives by reading and believing his holy word. How amazing that even in the manger, that even the manger was symbolic, that is, what his life on earth could mean for us. Well, after Jesus was born, the angels could not contain their excitement. They had to tell someone because no one in Bethlehem seemed to know what was going on. So an angel appeared to the shepherds in a nearby field, and his brightness must have really frightened them because he said, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. After the angel told the shepherds what to expect when they saw Jesus, there was a multitude of heavenly angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. God had good will towards men. That means that Jesus came to this earth because he loved us. The choir will now sing, Go Tell It on the Mountain. This is an American Christmas song based on a Negro spiritual from the South. This song was known to have been sung by African American slaves as far back as 1865. It is considered a Christmas carol because the original lyrics celebrate the nativity of Jesus.
It is now time for you to participate. Please stand as we all sing, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. Scende Dalle Stelle is a traditional Italian Christmas song. It was originally written by Alphonsus Maria de Leguori, a Neapolitan priest, in 1732. It went through a few lyrical changes until it became the popular Christmas song it is known today. The choir will now sing To Scende Dalle Stelle in the Italian language. The English translation is on the back of today's program.
parents wonder, as they look into the face of their newborn child, what the future will bring for them. Can you imagine how Mary felt looking, to, looking into the face of her baby? She remembered how the angel Gabriel came to her and told her she would have a son. She saw, the shepherd, she saw how the shepherds came from the fields to see her baby and worship him. What would the future hold now that he has arrived? The Virgin Mary had a baby boy is a traditional folk <coughs> carol from Trinidad in the West Indies. Joining the choir in performing this song is Justin on the cello and Isabel on the clavice. <laughs> 